Whether you like it or not, you'll have to deal with integers when it comes to exams. So let's talk about that today. Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of the upcoming videos, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, Kanina, it's all about integers. I do have a couple of older videos on this topic, but I figured dahil medyo, well, may room for improvement sa kung ko siya explain I just wanted to do a revamp of this series like what I did for fractions. So, we'll start tayo with our fundamentals. We're going to talk about the concept and then we're going to talk about yung basic na operation which is addition ng integers, okay? Now, before I discuss that, I just want to thank you nagpadalin nito. This is Sierra na vacuum insulated na tumbler. Um, this is really, really nice. And let me just show you kung ano laman. So, I wanted to show you the box kasi ang ganda ng packaging nila. So, very, very cool. Very millennial yung dating. Tapos nakalagay, it's thermal insulated so it can keep the drink cool for up to 20 hours daw. And hot up to 12 hours. So, that's a big deal. Tapos stainless steel din daw yung loob. So, ito yung kanilang... 32 ounce na tumbler. So in my colors din naman ng black and white. So it's very, very nice. Yeah. So stainless steel daw siya para hindi ma nangangamoy. So yeah, I can't wait to use it. I figured this will be really cool and bagay din naman sa background natin. So iwanan natin naman. So thank you so much siya. Uh, nagbigay and uh, ano tayo? Ilalink ko na lang din yung kanilang website sa baba for those of you who are interested Alright, so uh, now let's uh, jump right into it. Yung lesson natin on integers. I'm going to see you in a bit. I'll just switch over to my, my PC muna. Alright? Alright, so let's talk about integers. Again, this is part one. Introduction tayo. Tapos I'll teach you yung process on how to add integers. Okay? So ano ba yung concept niya? Ang concept niya is that there is a line na pa right, may line na pa left. Ang gitna gitna niyan is yung zero natin. Ang zero na point is right there sa gitna. Any number na papunta sa right is positive. Wala tayong problema dyan kasi mula bata tayo tinuturo na yan. Pag nagbibilang tayo, we always start ng 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. Okay? So lahat yan, nandito sa right side. Tuloy-tuloy yan. Okay? Wala problema dyan when we add numbers, multiply numbers, any number that is, that is positive, ingrained yan sa atin. Madali yun sa atin. Pag sabi mong 2 plus 3, 5, walang problema dun. We get confused kapag ma nasa grade 6, grade 5 na tayo, introduce na integers. Kasi nga, hindi siya na-imagine. It's easy for us to teach yung addition ng positive numbers kasi you can just show one apple, tapos dadagdagan mo siya isa pang apple, that is two. Pero ang negative, hindi mo kasi ma-imagine. Okay? Pero ang concept niya lang talaga is that all of these numbers, may equivalent sila sa left side. You have your negative 1, negative 3, and negative 2. Pa left yan, the more you get na ganun. Puro negative din sila. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung, ibig sabihin ng negative 1 at 1 is that they are the same distance from 0. Yung negative 2, may counterpart siya na positive 2, same distance from 0. And then yung negative 3 at positive 3, same distance din sila from 0. Now, how do we better explain it na mas ma-visualize natin siya? Mas madali natin maintindihan yung konsepto ng negative. So, kung kunyari, Meron tayong ganito, for example, lupa. This is my first uh, option for you to explain this, especially for those who are parents tapos tinuturo ninyo sa mas bata ninyong anak or sa mga pamakin or anyone na mas bata. What you could tell them would be concept ng lupa. So, any number na positive, those are, sabihin na natin, kung nagdadagdag tayo dun sa lupa. Okay? So, kung nagdadagdag ka, nagsimula ka sa zero, Okay, pataas siya. Walang problema. You, you add one block, two blocks, three blocks. Now, anong, paano natin i-explain yung konsepto ng negative? Ang negative is hukay. Okay? So, ibig sabihin kung meron kang negative two, negative one, okay, ang negative one would be hukay sa lupa, okay, na isa, tapos kung negative two, ibig sabihin counterpart or kasing laki ng dalawang blocks, hukay siya sa lupa na dalawang uka. Yan. Okay? Now, bakit natin kailangan to i-picture? Kasi, when we talk about adding integers, it will come into play later. So, for example, kung meron akong, nagsisimula ako sa negative 2, okay, 
if I'm starting out with negative 2, at nagdagdag ako ng, sabihin na natin, isa, okay, kung nagdagdag ako ng isa, ibig sabihin, naglagay ako ng lupa na equivalent ng isang guhit, ang mangyayari doon sa lupa na dinagdag ko is that it will fill this part right here. Okay? Isa lang. Bakit? Kasi pinupunuan ko pa lang yung lupa or yung, yung hinukay ko. Hindi pa siya makikita sa lupa. Okay? Hindi pa siya abot sa zero kasi ano lang siya eh, isang block lang siya na nilagay ko dyan. So, ang magiging sagot dito would be negative 1. Bakit? Kasi may uha kang dalawa, dagdagan mo lang ng isa, hindi, hindi pa siya abot sa zero point. Ngayon, kung magdadagdag ako, for example naman, magdadagdag ako ng uh, hukay, okay, or negative, so hindi positive 1 ang idadagdag ko, kaya rin magdadagdag ako ng negative 1, okay, plus negative 1, ano ang mangyayari dito? Okay. Ano ang ano ang dinagdag ko? Ang dinagdag ko ay nagdagdag ako ng isa pang hukay. So inuka ko pa uli lupa ng isa pang beses. So ang mangyayari diyan, okay? Hindi yan lumamang sa lupa. This will be negative 3. Okay? Kasi nga again, hindi ako pwedeng lumagpas dun sa surface dahil may utang pa ako. Okay? So para lang mas visual yung itsura niya. Yun lang ang ibig sabihin ng negative. Ang ibig sabihin ng negative is hindi hindi pa siya umaabot sa zero. So you can't use yung konsepto na ginagamit natin na sa simpleng addition. Okay? Now there's another idea, lalo na if you're teaching someone naman na sabihin natin high school or um, someone of your age na medyo mas maalam na sa practical na buhay. Ito yung other illustration that I use. Usapang sweldo at utang. So, kung again, we have the number line right here, positive siya negative. Ang idea is, kapag negative ang number na pinagsisimulaan, so for example, if you use na negative 200, okay? At yung negative 200 mo ay nagdagdag ako, or kumita ako, or nagsumweldo na ako, ng sabihin na natin, sumweldo ka ng 300, Ang tanong is, magkano ang pera na matitira sa'yo? Okay? So, ang idea would be this. Sa math, and again, hindi ka dito sa totoong buhay, sa math, ang utang laging binabayaran muna. Okay? Kasi sa totoong buhay, mahirap eh. Yung iba, kahit na may utang sila na 200, pag sumweldo sila 300, hindi nila babayaran yung utang nila. So, ang pera pa rin nila 300. Pero sa math, hindi ganun. Kung may utang ako na 200, okay, or may negative 200 ako, at nagkaroon ako ng sweldo, na positive yon na 300, Ang magiging pera mo would be, babayaran ko muna yung utang kong 200. Okay? So, ang matitira dito would be 100 na lang. And then, yun na lang yung magiging pera ko. So, the answer would be positive 100. Kasi, lumagpas na yung pera mo sa utang mo. Kaya, positive na siya. Now, kung ibang scenario naman yan, so, for example, kung hindi na, kaya, kulang yung idadagdag ko. Okay, ang sinweldo ko lang, ang nalagdag lang sa pera ko ay 50 pesos. Again, ang idea is sa math, kahit 50 pesos lang yung nadagdag or kung magkano man yan, ibabayad mo pa rin muna siya sa utang. Okay, so kung may 200 akong utang, nagka-pera akong 50, ipambabayad ko yan sa utang ko, ang kakalabasan would be negative 150, which means ang utang mo, mababawasan, magiging 150 na lang ang utang mo. Kasi nga, lagi mong pupunuan muna yung utang. Ngayon, kung ang dinagdag mo naman ay utang din, so for example, instead na sumweldo ka, okay, nagpalista ka uli, so nang utang ka uli ng, sabi natin, nang utang ka ng 100, okay, so yung utang mong 200, dinagdagay mo ng utang uli ng 100, ang utang mo, kalalabasan, magiging negative 300, or may utang ka pa ngayon na 300 pesos. So yun yung konsepto ng positive at saka negative. So always think of it this way, again ha, pag negative utang, kapag positive sweldo. Okay? Tapos, when you combine them, dapat isosolve mo na yung utang bago ka mag-move on dun sa positive na pera. Before we go there, I just want to have this quick exercise. I want you to figure out which is bigger. Okay? I'll give you some time for this. I'll try to answer this muna.
Alright, so ano ang mas malaki? Negative 12 o 3? Now, ang idea is, when we're talking about comparing integers, kapag negative, lagi siyang mas mababa. Okay? Kesa sa positive. Bakit? Kasi, ang utang, okay, ay mas mababa kaysa sa sweldo kahit 3 lang siya. So, you don't look at the number first. You look at the sign first. So, dahil siya ay negative, automatic siya na yung mas maliit, siya ay less than 3. Now, ito naman. Ano ang mas malaki? 0 o negative 8? This is where you have to really train your brain. Kasi ang idea natin sometimes, pag malaki yung number, anything that is not 0 is bigger. But, when it comes to this, pag negative siya, ano ba ang mas maganda? Ano ang mas... Uh, sino ang mas mapera? Yung walang utang o yung may utang na 8? Siyempre, ang mas mapera, yung walang utang. So, 0 is actually greater than negative 8. Now, paano naman kung pareho silang negative? Ano ang mas malaki? Negative 5 o negative 10? Again, retrain your brain. Sino ba ang mas mayaman? Yung may utang na 5 lang o yung may utang na 10? Kasi nga, if you think of negative as utang, syempre, mas malaming pera yung mas maliit ang utang. So, the answer is negative 5 is actually greater than negative 10. So, kung itong part na to, you answered ng baliktad, again, retrain your brain. Sa concept ng negative, kung sino ang bigger number at pareho silang negative, siya actually ang smaller number. Okay? Kasi yun yung mas malaking utang. So, mas wala siyang pera. Kasi pag may utang ka, well, di ba, negative yun eh. Wala kang pera. Now that we know that and we have that squared away, we can talk about yung rules governing yung addition ng integers. So let's take this for example, 4 plus 6. Yung 4 plus 6, pare 6 pareho silang positive. So this is positive 4 plus positive 6. Ang gagawin mo lang is, step 1, you add the number. So 4 and 6, 4 plus 6 is 10. And then, step 2 is you copy the sign. So ang sagot dito is positive 10 or 10 na lang. Kasi pag sinabi natin 10, uh, uh, unless sabihin mong negative, positive siya. So, the answer is 10. Again, paano naman kung negative? If they're the same sign, pag sinabi same sign is pareho sila dito sa part na ito. So, negative, negative. Okay? Pag pareho yung sign, pareho silang negative, ibig sabihin pareho silang utang, may utang kang 4, dahil may utang na 6. Ang gagawin mo again, same thing, add the numbers first. So, 4 and 6, 4 plus 6 is 10. And then, you copy the sign. Dahil pareho silang negative, you just put negative here. So, the answer is negative 10. So, again, kapag same ang sign, hindi masyadong komplikado. You just add yung numbers and then copy yung sign ng pareho sa kanila. It gets a little more complicated kapag different yung signs. Kapag different yung signs, for example, negative 4 plus 6 is equal to what? Ang step 1 natin is different. You're going to first... Subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. Again, ignoring the signs. Ibig sabihin, huwag niyo muna isipin yung sign. Ano ba yung mas malaki? 4 o 6? Mas malaki yung 6. So, ang gagawin mo, babawas mo yung 4 sa 6. So, ang mangyayari is 6 minus 4. So, 6 minus 4 is 2. And then, step 2 is, you copy the sign of the bigger number. So, ano ba mas malaki? 4 o 6? Ang mas malaki ay 6. At siya ay positive. So, kung positive 6, ang mas malaki... The answer is positive 2 or 2. Again, two things. Again, tingnan mo muna anong mas malaki, 4 or 6. Ignoring the signs. Subtract the smaller number, which is 4 from 6. So, 6 minus 4 is 2. And then, you copy yung sign ng mas malaki sa kanila. Now, paano kung ganito? If you notice, same yung numbers, pero baliktad sila ng sign. Ang negative ay yung 6. Kanina, ang negative yung 4. Now, mag-iba ba yung process? No. Same thing. Subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So again, 4. Ipapawas natin yung 4 sa 6. 6 minus 4 is still 2. And now, ano nang gagawin mo? You're going to copy the sign of the bigger number, which is this, negative 6. So ang sagot ay negative 2. So again, very important yung signs, kasi yung signs ang magdidictate ng kung ano yung gagawin mo at ano yung tama sagot. So again, yung reading from yung concept natin kanina, kung may utang akong 4, May pumasok sa akin pera na 6, babayaran ko yung 4 ko na utang, may matitira pa akong 2. So, dahil meron pa akong matitira 2, the answer is positive 2. Yung second condition, kung meron akong 4 na pera, at nangutang ako ng 6, nagdagdag ako ng utang ng 6, yung 4 na hawak ko na ngayon, ipambabayad ko muna dun sa 6, pero dahil hindi siya mas malaki kaysa dun sa utang ko na 6, may utang pa rin ako na 2, nababayaran ko in the future. So, yun yung konsepto niya. Again, 
Iba yung gagawin mo pag same ang sign, iba pag different ang sign. Alright, I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video to your friends. Lalo na kung mag-exam sila. That way, mas marami tayong matutulungan. And if you want this, um, ano ba ito? Hoodie na trying hard. Uh, this is official Team Like a Merchandise. The link to our shop will be below. And if you want to request any topics or if you want to find out kung paano makakuha ng reviewers and how to join the live and online review program, you can go to www.facebook.com slash Team Laika for more information. Thank you guys for watching and as you always say dito sa team, never stop learning. Aja aja, kainian, and I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.